please give a huge round of applause to Mr. Manish Mehrotra, Senior Vice President, Head of Operations, DLF Malls. He has vast experience in end-to-end -end retail business operations, multi-channel product, distribution and marketing involving both startups and growth organizations while spreading operational improvements to drive productivity and reduce cost. He excels in dynamic demanding environments while remaining pragmatic and focused. His career trajectory started from the bigger brands and the growth never saw a decline. As an area manager in Lotto and Lee Cooper in the late 90s and in early 90s, he commenced his professional journey with sales and operations followed by retail management in ITC Retail, Wills Lifestyle and Tata Teleservices. It's good to see uh, a huge batch of youngsters. Uh, I have uh, three nephews, 14 years old, triplets at home and I know what a youngster energy is all about. Uh, I also have, uh, I also continuously on a daily basis, my work allows me to meet a lot of youngsters in their 20s and early 30s and I think the intellect, the agility and their ability to question I think is amazing and I think that's, a, that's something that is commendable. When I started my career way back in 91, how, tell me how, how, think of a value. 99 rupees when you think of 99 rupees what all can you buy at 99 rupees today quick ones one or two 99 rupees what all can you buy at 99 rupees sorry sorry burger which burger comes at 99 bucks yeah? okay 99 very good 99 rupees. I started my career when I used to sell a formal shirt, the one that I'm wearing at 99 rupees. When I started my career, a shirt like this was 99 rupees. Right? This was 1991. Okay. So, uh, so I, okay, let me tell you something. One, I think the energy of youth today is amazing, which I just started off with. I've been into this business, into what I do for almost 31, 31 odd years. Let me give you an example. When we go home, what do you see your mother doing? Work, right? A mother, parents, right? But say mother, as one person who holds the entire household. Okay? Budget planning? Kitchen management? Guest entertainment? Who's coming when? Where do you go to the house? Correct? You see your mother doing all these basic things. Also looking at your career. Counseling you. Huh? Your mom does it so well. Right? I can end this discussion by saying this is exactly what operations management is all about. It's the backbone of a business. Okay? I've given you a very basic desi example. Okay? Operations management is the backbone of a business. And I'm not saying this because I've done this. I'm not saying this because I've been invited today to talk to you about this subject. I'm not trying to over glorify this. Okay? That's why I gave the example of a household. Basic operations. And I was just a while back, I was discussing that operations today has become a, a career. Okay? But operations, when I, when I started my career, operations was the core of everything we did. It is the core of everything we did. So the first thing that is important for us to understand is operations is not just a subject. Okay, it is a subject today to make sure that you get focused on certain traits of that. Correct? But operations for any business is the base of how an organization, a function, a retail, a panwala also. What does a panwala do? So the store khulta hai. Correct? He opens the store in the morning, cleans it up. He does that. A panwala does that. Okay. Then what do you do? He organizes his stock. Apna galla organize karta hai. Apna PTM card lagata hai. Chal raha hai, nahi chal raha hai. Correct? He does all that. He sells. After he sells, he tallies his cash, 
Then he says, what I have sold, let me buy it again because for tomorrow again, I need the pan or the cigarette or the candy, right? And does that. What do you think Zara does today? Zara has, one, Zara has 1100 stores across the world. Okay, across the world. It's the most efficient retailer. Most efficient retailer globally. Okay, efficient in a lot of business ways. Let me not consume your time on that. Okay, what does Zara do? Opens the store at 10. The store is immaculate. The music is perfect. The windows are great. The cashier is ready. The tills are working. The, the staff is ready to welcome you. Okay, the new collections, what has come is displayed right in the front. Yes, you go, you ask questions, you pick up your stock, you go, you go to the trial room, try, get your bills done. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. You walk out. What is that? That is also operations. So I've given you three examples in the last five minutes. Your household, the Padmala and the Zara. Okay. I Let me give you another example. At DLF malls, where I work today, we handle 1,25,000 customers every day across the malls. 125 to 150. In the weekends, it goes up to 3 lakhs on a Saturday or a Sunday. Okay. What does, what does the mall do? Do you know the malls do not close ever? When the malls close at 11 o'clock, the last cinema show, that's the last retailer operating in a mall. The last show ends at 2. The last consumer walks out of a mall at 2.30. There are certain malls where the, you know, nightlife pubs and bars are open till 4 o'clock in the morning. The last consumer walks out at 4.30. And at 10.30 in the morning, we are ready to welcome the first customer next day morning. What do you think happens in a mall? It's, it works like a very, it works like clockwork. We know exactly when the escalators have to go up, when the escalators have to be shut down, which light, which zone, air conditioning has to be operated one hour early because when the first customer walks in, the mall should be cooler. If the first customer has to walk in at 11, I can't switch on the air conditioning at 10.45 because it takes half an hour, 45 minutes, depending on the mall size for, for the air conditioning to start getting effective. Okay? We, we need to have all the concierge is mapped, security there, housekeeping there, washrooms clean. There are retailers ranging from 130 to 500 retailers in a mall. Every retailer has to be open, ready. So not only that we operate our mall, we also ensure that the retailers are ready to welcome the customer. What does it need? It's the entire gamut of doing this comes under the scope of the word called operations. So the mall operations deals with this. They also deal with the fact that the maintenance of the mall is good. They also deal with the fact that if it's Christmas, 15 days before Christmas, the Christmas tree is up. So the integration of operations with marketing is important. And as business people, we have to ensure that we are profitable. This entire gamut of things comes under that one word, which is called operations. So... What I want to say is operations as a function, it integrates with every other function of a business unit. I'll give examples of retails and malls because that's what I've spent all my life in. But believe me, you walk into a FMCG organization, that's what happens there. The structure of an organization doesn't change. The product category changes, right? The way to sell a shirt is different than the way to sell a Colgate toothpaste. Correct? It's very different than marketing a burger. But the core of burger, have you ever thought why does McDonald's never goes out of stock from the chicken burger or the veg burger? It's always available. The fries are always available. There is a timeline of how you place an order and the fries are served to you. Okay? As, as consumers, we say, Jaldi ho gaya, mera order late ho gaya. You know, we have as consumers a lot of good and bad experiences correct and we have our thoughts but imagine what goes behind serving so many consumers in a particular time a, 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 a burger or a fries correct yes, yes sir. 
So I think, so that's what I'm trying to say. The operations as a base function remains core to every business. The operations works with finance. The operations, because if the operations has to run a business unit, they need money. When they need money, they have to plan a budget forecast in the year. When you have to plan a budget forecast, you have to say, okay, what is my costing? So if I have to say, okay, in the year, how much money do I need to run my mall? I'll have to do a budget plan of cost forecast. And for that, I have to work with two people, my supply chain or the supplies team who provides me a lot of consumables and my finance team who helps me to build a budget. Right? So it is finance, it is marketing, it is core operations as operations, right? And we also undertake reviews. So when we do all this, when so many retailers operate, we have across a portfolio of DLF malls, we have around 1200 retailers that operate with us. 1200 retailers. Now 1200 retailers every day do trade. We also want to understand how much business do they do? What is selling? Is fashion doing better? Is entertainment doing better? Is food doing better? Okay. We also watch trends like what cuisines are in. We see trends. Okay. The Asian cuisine is moving out and Korean is coming in. Right. We see, okay. Indian is being dominated by more curated plating than just the normal dal makhani and butter chicken. People want curation, newness. There is a lot that happens in the retail space. And a lot of this gives insights. What does it mean? We need to be analytical. We need to have an eye for detail. When we walk malls, when we walk malls, we need to see what's right, what's wrong. Right from the plant, is the signage right? Is the tissue box there? Is, are the bottles right? The bottles that are kept do not have dirt. They don't have marks, right? The tissue box, it's not torn. This is all part, this is this, it needs eye for detail. You have to see, walk it in a very microscopic thing. While you're talking of inviting 125,000, 150,000 consumers every day, you do big strategies, but you also look at the micro, the small things, okay? So operations in a net net is a huge subject. I spent 32 years and I'm still learning. I'm still learning. And believe me, I am from an era where I was in 1996, 94, 96. Was it 96? Yes. It was 96. Then I saw a gadget called a pager, not even a phone. Okay. In 1991, I was posted in a place called Indore. And my branch manager was in Bombay. I used to walk retailers and I used to work from a distributor point. If my manager had to speak to me, he had to drop a message to my distributor point on a phone call and say, when Manish comes, please ask him to call me. Today on a WhatsApp, you want an answer in three seconds. And believe me, we were efficient then. And why I'm saying this, I'll just come to it and why I'm saying this. And it's very important for everyone to understand. Okay. If my branch manager had to speak to me, he used to leave a message. If I had to send him a report, I used to go to a place called, in the market, there was a small communication center. There was STD, PCO, fax or telex. Telex was slower, fax was faster. Fax was you write a note. Okay. And say fax it. That was my reporting system. From 91 to 96. I tell you why I'm saying this. And I'll make a very basic crude Hindi statement. Admi ne computer ko banaya na? So what doesn't stop working is this. The computer does what we command it to do. And it's very important in our career to understand. You are driving data or you are being driven by data. With so much of content today, okay, on all the social media channels, and I'm there on all the channels. My work demands me that I am in all social media channels, okay. So I am tech savvy and I am social media savvy, 
and I use AIs and I use algorithms and I do a lot on the digital space at my workplace. Okay, getting digital screens, which you see in all the malls and retailers, it's a huge subject today. How a consumer comes in and it is mapped, okay, it's a huge subject. When consumers are walking in, how many, what is the gender ratio? Male to female. Today our cameras map that. Right? How many people are coming back? The loyalty programs map that. There is RFID technology today which really reads every stock movement and people movement. So if your credit card is RFID enabled, then you are tracked by someone, somewhere. That's technology today. So in the world of technology, which is this, from the world that everything was paper, what is the constant? The constant is the human brain. And today's world of technology, when so much content comes to you, it's very natural that we get driven by the content. It's like news. If news keeps on showing, you know, for the last 15 years, every time Mumbai rains, they You know, they've rectified it. <laughs> But, so that's what happens. So news keeps on showing you one thing and you start getting believing in what, what you, because your eyes work like that, right? Your brain works like that. Seeing is believing, right? What is important is when we at work, it's important that you understand the human brain is more stronger than what is being fed to you. You know, let me go back to my young days. My mom used to tell me, un dosto ke saath, Zada dosti rakho, un dosto ke saath kam dosti rakho. Why did she say that? She was not discriminating. She said, if I am with an intelligent set of people, I will learn good things. She never said, those are bad guys. That was not the intent. Content is exactly the same. Content is that friend circle, jo tumhe achhi cheeze se kata hai ya kharaab cheeze se kata hai. Choice is yours. Content to rahega. Why I'm saying this is not as global again, but when we work in our business, it's important to see what is right for us, what is right for business and what is deviating us from our career paths. So I'm not giving examples. What I'm, whatever I'm saying is somewhere linked to what you do. So tomorrow when you graduate out of here, when you go for interviews, it's important that a person sitting across the table looks at you as a personality. Not as a profile. There's a difference between a profile and a personality. Okay, profile is what is on my LinkedIn. Personality is when I walk out, what do you think of me? There are two different subjects. Profile is, my LinkedIn pe mera profile is chapa hai. But my personality is, what do you think of me when I walk out of this place? So there's a difference between profile and personality. All this is important and why I am again not giving you global can. Operations is a subject which doesn't need a technical. It's not an engineer. You don't need to be an engineer to be in operations. You can be. An engineer can become an operations guy. A marketing specialist can become an operations guy. But a base of an operations guy, what is your personality? How you conduct yourself, how sharp you are, your eye for detail and your ability to speak your mind out. And not get driven by what is being fed into your ears. By so-called social media today. And why I am touching upon the subject of social media? Because it is critical. When I do my business, okay, we work every event that we do. We work with at least 200 influencers. 200 influencers. Every event that we do. Out of the 200, which 20 are important is our choice. It's not driven by what the influencers do. It's driven by the fact that who we think is important for our business. So an influencer with a 5 million following at times is weaker than an influencer with a 2 million following. Why? Because the 2 million following influencer is more relevant to the business. Am I getting into too much of global gain? Stop me if you think I'm talking out of context, please stop me if you think I'm talking out of context because uh, I am I'm touching upon things that are important to be an operations person. So first half I touched about how does operation lead us. Okay. I'll give you another example out of career to tell you what operations does. Uh, in those days, 
Okay, let me give a recent example. Recent is as old as 2014. So 2014, I was, I have been in India always. 2014 October, I moved to a country called Middle East. A region called Middle East, a country called UAE, a city called Dubai. I went there as a country head to manage a business of a group called Landmark Group. Landmark Group is the same group which in India runs lifestyle stores. Right? So I was heading lifestyle stores for UAE for almost four and a half, five years before I came back to join uh, DLF. You know, what was the biggest challenge when I walked into that country? I knew my business very well. I knew how to run stores. I knew to how to manage people. I knew how to manage inventory. Correct? How to make a business profitable. What I did not know was, how do I manage a team how do I manage a team of nine nationalities which speaks 16 languages? They come from different cultures. When you come from a different culture, right from Philippines to Uzbekistan to Syria to UK to South Africa, okay, to Bangladesh to Pakistan to Sri Lanka, obviously India. Okay, and I missed a few. So nine countries, approximately nine countries that speak 16 different languages. Okay, Iran and Iraq are different cultures. The language spoken by Irani and Iraqi is different. Their cultures, their beliefs are different. Their sentiments are different. Okay, the way we talk in India, right? We are a, India is a very emotional country. The Goras don't get emotional about it. Okay, they are very, very straightforward. No mincing words, but they're not bad. They're good guys. They're like you and me. They have families like you and I have. Their cultures, okay? Their festivals are different. But the way they celebrate a Christmas and the way we celebrate a Diwali is a little different. Emotion is the same. So when you're dealing with different people, my biggest challenge after so many years of working is how do I get this team together and how do I make sure that they treat me as a leader? Because if I don't conduct myself as a leader, they'll not listen to me. If they don't listen to me, how will I communicate with them? So I had to be a part of them. I had to learn to celebrate every festival. Correct? And I came back so much richer. Today when I sit, stand and talk, I have great memories. I have friends on Facebook, on my obviously WhatsApp, phones, whatever, whatever. And the team gets, is, is still connected. I know what's happening in their families. So the other part of operations management is people management. And you know what is the biggest thing about a leader? Okay, so I'll start with a statement that I always give. Our team works with us and not for us. If you can, and take my word for it, I'm talking out of experience. If you keep humility, if you are humble, okay, if you are empathetic, if you understand, okay, believe me, you'll have people, 200 people standing with you in times of need and crisis. As a leader, you're given very difficult tasks by the management. And no leader can do anything alone. They need a team. And the team is on your side if you are on their side. You know, it's like a kid. You have little children at home. Little, little children at home. They come to you with very small, small things. Small experiences. You know, a new toy is so exciting for a kid. It is not important for you. But if you do not respond, when the kid goes up, you know, it's like says, if you don't care for the small things of a children, they will not share the big things when they grow up. A team exactly functions like that. The small things which happen. So I have a colleague of mine, I have a team member who's as of now in Chennai. Who's in Chennai? You know Chennai is flooded. Thankfully everyone's safe today. His parents are in Nellore. Nellore is in Andhra. And Andhra and Nellore is the epicenter of cyclone. Okay. He has parents and his grandfather in his house. He's surrounded by water. Believe me, I'm in touch with him four times a day. Before I walked in, I called him. It's been my regime for the last three days. I get in my car every day in the morning, call up this colleague of mine and say, how are you? How are your parents? How's the team? Do you have supplies at home for food? I haven't discussed work with him for three days. 
and I'll not. Because it is not important. His family is important. His parents are important. People is one differentiator that takes us through a career. You might be a star. You might be intelligent. But if you don't have people standing with you, you won't be effective. You will never be effective. So that's another lesson in operations or people management. People management goes a long way. You know what? You start your careers at the age of what? 24? Roughly? Okay. And even if I assume that 58 is the... Uh, 58 is the retirement age. So you work for around 34 years, roughly, some less, some more. Okay. In 34 years, you have to make sure that you earn that feeds you for the next 20 years. In 34 years, you have to earn money that has to last 54 years. Calculate. Calculate. And in the last 20 years of a career, you will have the biggest responsibilities. Okay? When you are retired, you don't have a running income. I wish you do, but not the way you don't earn as much when you are working, right? I'm assuming and I wish everyone does. No, uh, no ill feelings about it. But correct, you have responsibilities. Kids, kids education. Okay? India is a country where bachcho ki shadi bhi parents ko karani padti, which is very different outside. And today things are changing and for good. Today, the youngsters have their own ways to think, which I think is great for the society, great for the economy. They know where to spend money, where not to splurge money. So all that I think is great. So imagine for 20, 34 years, you have to work and you have to earn so that you fund yourself, not only for the 34 years, but the next 20 years also. So 34 years, mein, 34 years, mein, 34 years, mein, 54 years ke liye paisa hai. why will someone give you money? Why will give you some, someone give you so much of money? Only when you are leading, when you are better than the rest, each one of you sitting here will compete with each other. You already do. Don't you do that? Right? But with a healthy approach. And that's my next lesson. I'm giving you a lot of lessons today. I hope it's... I hope it's okay, right? I don't want to talk about how much knowledge a person gives. Okay, so this is all life experiences there. There is no subject that I am talking about. Okay, competition. You know, I had a gentleman called Kishore Biani. How many of you know Kishore Biani? Okay. He was a founder of a company called Future Group. So what the world thinks about Future Group could be different. Okay, Big Bazaar, Pantaloons, right? But my, if someone has taught me retail, it's the gentleman called Kishore Biani. And his brother, Rakesh Biani, my two bosses. Okay, if someone has taught me consumer, it's the gentleman called Kishore Biani. Right? And, you know, one of the huge learnings, huge, huge learnings from that gentleman has stayed with me right through my career. Right through my career. You know, the beauty is that when we meet people, you learn something from everyone you meet. Okay, we learn something from everyone. It's not about corn kiss is other intelligent. Hai. It's a wrong parameter. When you're dealing with human beings and people, it's about kiss me kya seek sakta. Hu. I think that's a better way to live life. And believe me, life is simple then. Otherwise, it's not confusion. Kiss ne mujhe kya bola, usne mere bare me kya socha. Imagine workplace pe kam nahi hota. It becomes even more lethal. If I have to use the word. At workplace, this thing about what am I being seen as becomes very, very difficult. And performance is other, wo aapke mind pe, it plays on your mind. Okay, oh, I am saying this, what are people going to think about me? Doesn't matter. You know your subject, you know your job, you know what you're doing, speak up, talk. Talk. Kya hoga? Char bar log bolenge na, mazaki to odayenge. Your personality doesn't change because someone is thinking about it's okay, it's fine. It's cool. So, when you meet someone for operations in your careers, when you go out, there are four or five things which are very, very important. Operations is elementary. Operations means simplicity to do things. If you complicate your job too much, okay, 
Imagine if I had to rearrange this table. Okay, this table is visible, right? You can see the name, you can see two plants, there's a tissue holder, this is this, this is this. Now I say, hey, you know, it's not good. I say, I'll keep this bottle back. Now you'll start seeing only one bottle, right? Correct? Right? If I take this plant and put it on the innovation chakkar, it's not good. It's not funny, right? So at the cost of innovating, don't do things which take away the simplicity of life. Innovation, innovation is getting new ideas. Innovation is not disrupting what you have. Innovation is saying that, oh, that yellow plant looks nice. Can I add a yellow plant to this? This place will look, look more vibrant. It has a white base. Can I add a yellow plant? This will look more vibrant. That is innovation and fresh thinking. What you bring in and not how you rearrange. Yes? yes sir. Operations is about simplicity. The last one on operations, discipline. Very important. हम बचपन से सोचते हैं ना discipline correct going late in school had a repercussion correct not studying on time gives you pressure either you are not prepared for exam or you don't do well in your exam in our education in our school life school college education life what happens at work at work no one will tell you yeah no one's going to punish you at work but what will happen is like a race. When you start running slowly, when you start slow, then someone will move forward. You are running at 100 km an hour. You say, oh, I am brilliant, I am efficient. But you don't realize someone's already galloping at 120 km an hour. Your speed is still there, but someone will move faster. You are not wrong, someone will move faster. Then you will move faster. Discipline is something that keeps you focused. I'll give you an example. Otherwise, this will sound like a gan. What happens that if my shift manager in the mall, shift manager does not switch on the AC and he says, Are you going to go to the house? I'm going to go to the house, so 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 I'm going to go to the house. What will happen? The consumer will come to the mall in the mall. They will go back with a bad experience. If five housekeepers didn't come to the mall, they were absent, they were absent from some reason, they were outside, they didn't have a convenience. And the mall washroom is the risk of being clean in time. And I'm a supervisor, what do I do? I'll change my rhythm quickly. Okay? I'll change my rhythm quickly and say, what should I do to make sure all the washrooms are cleaner? Possibly, in one washroom, two people are going to say, one here, one here, one here. It's operations, it is discipline. Discipline is not coming on time, going on time. Discipline is our precision of carrying out an activity to meet its end result. How we achieve doesn't matter. Doesn't mean we go unethical. How we achieve results doesn't have a matter. Tell me, how many of you watch sport? Everyone does. How many of you watch movies? Okay. What do you enjoy? Sports. Sports? On what is happening on the field? How many of you watch Virat Kohli preparing for his performance? Do you watch him prepare for his performance? You do? Brilliant. For people you do? Very good, but that's 5% of the hands that I saw. Everyone enjoys the sport, the performance. You see movies. How many of you know what, what's the, what happens behind the screens? You don't, you don't care also, yeah? You pay for a movie, you want to enjoy that movie. So the movie is a result. The match is a result. The pain behind it is for the people who perform. The world doesn't care. Tough words, right? I'll tell you why I'm saying this. When we work, people say, I've done a lot of work. The world sees, what have you done with the results? I'm not saying hard work is thankless. 
hard work pays but hard work has a long sustained journey and shortcuts don't work in life my dear friend yeah i have not spoken about operations but what i have said is all these things that i have spoken about is what is important for a person who's an operations person right from the start of the career to end of the career right through your journey of whatever number of years you work as an operations professional these traits remain with a person i am not here to teach operations because operations in different brands and products is very different and you will go through your journey of learning products and categories different organizations you work कोई कोलगेट में काम करेगा कोई रिटेल में जाएगा कोई कहीं जाएगा दैट्स योर जर्नी दैट्स योर लाइफ दैट्स योर इंटरेस्ट ओके लास्ट थिंग आई थिंक आई एम क्रॉसिंग द टाइम लास्ट थिंग ओके वॉट एवर यू डू इन योर करियर एंड दिस इज आउटसाइड द ऑपरेशन गैमिट ओके प्लीज फॉलो अ हॉबी समथिंग दैट्स क्लोज टू योर हार्ट दैट कीप्स यू हैप्पी दैट लव अूज इम्पैक्ट ऑन हाउ यू परफॉर्म एट वर्क ह्यूज इम्पैक्ट ओके बिकॉज एंड ऑफ द ईयर एंड ऑफ फ्यू ईयर से अरे मैंने तो अपना सब कुछ दे दिया ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तो मेरे लिए कुछ कर नहीं रही किसी ने बोला नहीं था सब कुछ दे दो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को अपनी फैमिली अपने फ्रेंड्स और अपने हॉबीज संभाल के रखने के उनको कुर्बान नहीं करने का है रखो अपने पास में वो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है ओके आई पास आउट स्कूल इन एटी सेवन हाउ मेनी वॉज एट इवन बॉर्न इन एटी सेवन आउट ऑफ यू नो okay you open my whatsapp okay i have 37 of my classmates who were my in my class 84 5 86 87 37, 37 of us who are still in touch and we meet and we chat with each other 30 87 and now and still 37 of my friends और हम ऐसे ही बात करते हैं जैसे कैंटीन में तुम वापस में बात करते हो ऐसा नहीं कि बाल सफेद हो गए तो हम थोड़े सोफिस्टिकेटेड हो गए बिल्कुल भी ऐसे बात नहीं करते हैं हम एक दूसरे से we we are possibly i don't know to talk about it but <laughs> you know how friends are yes so retain that part of you retain that yourself with you okay uh let me introduce myself i am dr richa sharma and i am the in the field of production operations management my specialization it is in the field of operations that is in the lean management so uh, sir you have given extensive examples lot of ample examples real life examples that is what operation is basically sir told you that is operation is that is managing the entire production system managing the entire service system which will give you the output that is in order to the, give the output of product and services to the customers right that is you need to utilize you need to utilize effectively and efficiently the all the input resources which are being applied in the operations production very good afternoon sir uh, Hi. my name is ayush gupta uh, so firstly as you told as uh, in operations we have to a uh, eye for detail and you got notes bana rahe ho yes sir my uh, god so then the first points come for eye for detail and you started as well what comes in under 99 Yes, and you start and you started your. Two other other things, yeah. So as you started your career in 1991, and you told us that you started with a 99 of shirt. Yes. So, sir, you were you were rich on that time, as you <laughs> ma- ma- maintain inflation. So, that shirt okay, cost chalo. is approximately thousand plus. Ah. Ah. So then, and the my next um, that was my first analytical things, okay. as I mentioned, uh, as I analyzes. and then the next point comes in operations when we talk about operations the uh, the main point main concern comes in when every when anyone enters in your office or whenever you try to take interview for an operation field so what first thing you ask him to uh, him or her so that sets the margin basically how i view a candidate could be my view but that could not be everyone else's so let me attempt to say that when you walk in to any interview okay you don't know how the other person is looking at aapko ye bhi nahi pata usko aaj mood kharab hai ki acha hai so when you walk in there are two things very important one how is your body language are you slouching are you slouching are you casual okay cool mein aur indisciplined mein hone mein fark hota hai 
कूल के चक्कर में ना हम थोड़े इनडिसिप्लिन हो जाते हैं आजकल यू अंडरस्टैंड अक्रॉस द टेबल जो बैठा है ना कुछ भी करो वो इंटरव्यूअर है He is good. He is bad. He is judgmental. He is at a bad day. Doesn't make a difference. Your moment of truth is that thirty minutes. Yeah, then na picture. Look at you. Seventy minutes. That's your time. That's your only time. आपके CV में जो लिखा है वो आपको interview तक लेके आया. CV का काम खत्म हो गया. CV आपको सिर्फ interview तक ला सकता है. Interview में through नहीं करा सकता. इंटरव्यू में आप जब बैठोगे आप आपका बॉडी लैंग्वेज क्या है आपका कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल क्या है दो दूसरा ब्लफ तो नहीं कर रहे हो हम एग्जाम में चाहे जितनी चीटिंग कर ले टीचर को पता होता है क्या कर रहे हैं वो इग्नोर करे अलग बात है बट पता होता है यार है ना सो द इंटरव्यूअर विल नो मोर देन यू देर फोर डोंट ट्राई टू टेक समन फॉर अ स्पिन ठीक है ना और मुझे सब कुछ पता है मैं जब जानता हूं नहीं चलता है बस You have to show how valuable and intelligent you are, and how confident you are. You, in front of the audience, better or not, doesn't matter.